Alright boys, welcome back to another video, Swaggy here. Today we're going to be reacting to the Colorado Buffaloes 48-21 victory over UCF. This was without question the biggest win of the season and, in my opinion, the biggest win in all of the Coach Prime era the past two seasons. Colorado is looking like they're going to be ranked, of course, they have a bye and then after that they're going to be taking on Kansas State. But this team is seriously legit, especially the way they played on the road against an undefeated team in their conference. The offensive line blocked. The defensive line put on a lot of pressure. They made key tackles. We saw the secondary come up with a couple of interceptions and passes defended and just big time plays. I mean, every single unit on this team came to play, including special teams with Mata making a couple of field goals, of course. Uh, one of them was, I believe it was 48 yards at the end of the half. Just a great, great performance. So much to take away from this game. And we've got to start off, of course, with the star players in Shader Sanders and Travis Hunter. I know they get all the attention, but rightfully so. Sanders, 28 of 35, 290 yards, three touchdowns and a pick. The pick was uh, very uncharacteristic of Sanders. He was just trying to make a play across the middle, and he must have not seen one of the defenders. But, I mean, this was just about as perfect of a game outside of that as it gets. I mean, if you look at his passer rating, which I can't check right now, I mean, again, it was pretty much flawless. Sanders was protected, and he only threw 35 times, which means that the, the run game was there, and Colorado was playing with elite, which they were. Of course, they got off to an early start, and they just, uh, they, well, UCF ended up tying it, and then uh, the Buffaloes ended up pulling away. If this can be our formula the rest of the season, we're going to win a lot of games. We're going to contend for the Big 12. I mean, this was just as good as it gets from uh, Shadur, man. And we know last season, guys, I say it all the time, he was the third highest graded QB in the country in a clean pocket behind Caleb Williams and Jaden Daniels. Two Heisman winners and the number one and the number two pick in the NFL draft this year back in April. So Sanders, he's one of the best quarterbacks. Uh, I'm going to say he's the best quarterback in college football right now. But, I mean, you look at you know, last season, he was one of the best. This season, I think he is the best. And a lot of people don't like to admit that. But it's just to the point right now where I don't think you can even argue it. I mean, I mean, maybe you can. Cam Ward is very good. He's had a hell of a year. You know, Jalen Miller, but like... If I'm being honest, I don't think anyone's better than Shadur Sanders. I mean, when this guy has time, he just makes a lot happen, and especially with the receivers that he has, starting off with Travis Hunter, who was 9 of 89 in a touchdown and interception. Hunter should be the Heisman favorite right now. I Last time I looked, he wasn't even top 10, which is just ridiculous. I mean, it's almost like because Colorado wasn't expected to win a lot of games, people just didn't really care about Travis Hunter saying that, oh, well, the team needs to win. But Hunter is the best player in college football, and he just makes everyone else around him better. Amazing game for him. Uh, probably his best game of the year. I mean, the game one was amazing, too, when he had those three touchdowns. But a pick, you go for 89 yards, and you have a touchdown. I mean, Hunter was all over the place, man. And a lot of what he does, too, doesn't even show up in, in the box score. I mean, this guy's giving 110% every single snap on offense and defense. I mean, that's just basically unheard of, especially at this high level. It is unheard of. It's just I know it's a very, very uh, overused, but it, it truly is just similar to Shohei Otani, who, of course, can itch at a high level. He can hit a high level. And you just do everything. I mean, that's Travis Hunter, man. Will Shepard, four for 99 and a touchdown. Big time game. Last one, of course, against Baylor, Shepard dropped a, what should have been a touchdown. Of course, it was a Hail Mary attempt. And to see him go out there and to reel this one in with a defender in his area, you know, two other defenders in his vicinity, just a big time catch by Shepard. I mean, if these receivers can continue to develop and get better throughout the year, I don't know if anyone is going to be able to stop Colorado's offense. Can, obviously, counting for the fact that they're blocking, right? And by the way, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm on one hour of sleep right now, so bear with me. I know I'm stuttering and stuff like that. But I don't know if there's going to be a team in the country, especially in the Big 12, that's going to be able to to run with these receivers if there's time. I mean, in the really in the country, I think we've got the best receivers, to be honest with you. I mean, we've got Willis Shepard, Travis Hunter, Jimmy Moore Jr., LeJounte Webster. This was the first game of the year where everyone ate. I mean, Horn 5 for 41 Wester, three for 34 and a touchdown. It was a very creative play call, too, of course. And, yeah, like I said, man, everyone just went out there and they played very well. Michael Welch also had two catches for 13 yards. Our tight end had a catch for 11 yards, which is pretty cool. Uh, Savelle Smalls. In terms of the run game, and then we'll get into the defense, we saw Isaiah Augustav go four for 39. Dallin Hayden 
ends up going 11 for 33. Good to have him back. Michael Welch, 5 for 26 and a touchdown. By the way, Hayden did have a touchdown too. Shadur, 5 for 15. Charlie Alford all came in late in a three carries for 11 yards. A lot of people thought he was going to be the starter. I mean, that didn't end up happening, but that's kind of interesting. And then uh, Draylon Miller had a carry for four yards. So we go for 128 rushing yards, which isn't anything crazy. I mean, we did give up 177 rushing yards at 44 carries, a lot of carries. But the run game did just enough for a balance and to help out the offense. And in terms of just Shadur Sanders, we really were able to control the game and just play ahead and play the way that we wanted to. And you could see the comfort in the offense and in Shadur specifically when we were able to do that. So being able to run the football, playing with a lead changes everything. Most teams are dangerous when they can run the ball and they're ahead the whole game, but especially a team like Colorado, that's exactly where they want to be. And they know that too. So, and then for the defense, just a phenomenal job. The offense was great. I mean, I think the story of this game was, was definitely the offensive line and just winning up front, but especially the defensive line too. It was just the trenches. I mean, yeah, we gave up 177 rushing yards on 44 carries. Let's do the math on that. How much yards per carry is that? It doesn't show me, which is kind of annoying, but 177 divided by uh, 44. Uh, that's four yards per carry. I mean, we're living with that. If, like, four yards per carry is not going to kill you. And I'll, I'll pretty much take that any single time, especially considering how bad Colorado was last season at stopping the run. And also just containing mobile quarterbacks. And we've had some bad moments against the run this year too. Like the first game, I mean, any team that's had a mobile quarterback has given us trouble, but and we went up against Katie Jefferson, who was very, very mobile. I mean, he had 76 rushing yards, but again, on 20 carries, you'll live with that any single day of the week. And I mean, UCF came into this week, number one in rushing, and they just could not run the ball on us, man. It's awesome. In terms of the passing game, we gave up 284 yards, but we had two interceptions two touchdowns, uh, 20 of 35 is not the best efficiency. Shadur, for example, was 28 of 35. The defense, oh my God, I just, I did not expect this. Yeah, I, I know that Colorado's defense has been getting better and they've got a lot of pieces and they've added in some guys in the trenches, but this was just, I did not expect this defensive performance. I mean, Colorado was legitimately dangerous and deadly on that side of the ball in this game. And just from the start, man, outside of that one big play early on in the first quarter, I mean, the defense just did a hell of a job. And of course, a team like UCF is going to get points and yards and they're going to be able to move the chains. But Colorado made big play after big play. And they just they outworked UCF. It's as simple as that. We know Colorado's got a lot of talent, but to go out there and to actually execute and get it done just is absolute music to my ears. In terms of anything else, I mean, this is just a statement win. It shows people that Colorado, we're not just here for clicks and views. We're here to win a national championship. We're here to win the conference. And I think big things are to come. If we can build off of this, I mean, oh my God, like Colorado is going to be a serious threat for the conference. Not only are we four and one, this is one of the best Buffalo teams since I've been alive, but it's more so of this program's continuing and continuing to grow. And one day i think we're going to be a powerhouse i think within the next couple of years we're going to be a legit powerhouse like people like people the transfer portal has already been good but i mean guys are just going to be doing whatever it takes to come here and play and it's just, it's just going to turn into something incredibly special i still do think it's special one win of course prime comes in four wins we've already got four wins i mean i'm just so happy right now to be a buffs fan um i do want to go out to celebrate but i'm just so tired bro one hour of sleep man but so we'll not be going out to celebrate but um, I'll celebrate it with myself and I'll celebrate it with you guys, man. Uh, in terms of what's next, bye week off of that at home against Kansas State, who is ranked. And then, guys, at Arizona versus Cincinnati at Texas Tech. I mean, like Cincinnati and Texas Tech, we've got to get those games. Kansas State, I mean, if we win that game, oh my God, like that would just be insane. After the way we played, we've got a legit chance. Arizona, Utah is probably the best team in the conference right now at kansas versus oklahoma state just a deadly sketch speaking and this is just an absurd schedule but man i'm just so happy right now guys i'm so so happy